It's time to pull sunchokes. Hello everyone, I think it's time to finally pull some sunchokes. I'm gonna grab one of these socks, pull and see what happens. An idea of what to expect. Um, of, I can't remember how many tubulars or whatever you want to call them that I planted. Um, but now that they're fully formed, fall is hit and it's frosted a few times. Day t nighttime temperatures are right around freezing, so I'm just gonna try and grab one of these and see what comes out. I'm not sure. Ugh. Well, there you go. Look at all that happy dirt. And happy sun chokes. I root around in here. Let's see how much. This is the first year having these in the ground. This is the first time I've ever planted these. So for this one. Oh. Oh, snap something. I'm gonna have to get a shovel. Cause there's more here than I can just get to. So a number of them actually pulled through with the plant itself. See a happy little worm there? Look how slow he's moving, it must be cold out. <laughs> All right, well that's, that's good. I'm not sure how much more I'll expect to get. Especially with soil that's just been sitting here with some wood chips over it, but we'll grab some more, pull some more out, and I'll just take you along with me to I'll get a bin so I can actually show you um, how many plants there were versus how many tubes, tubulars, whatever you call them, tubers, um, that I got. I'll kind of take you along on the process of cleaning them and see how worth it was. I mean, they're pretty, they're easy to plant. I've already, this is three, two plants. Um, I didn't plant anything this big. So at this point, I've at least evened out for that planting. Plus all that, so that's probably double what I planted. Another one. Let's see, about so what triples what I've planted. Let's see, just to get an estimate. Ugh. That's crazy that one of these little tubers made all that. So let's say right now that's about triple what I planted and that's all I did was pull this out and I grabbed one that was in there. So I'm gonna grab my shovel and do some digging around. I don't wanna puncture or break any of them if I don't have to. Oh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I'm really interested to see um, how, how worthwhile it is to plant these. So stay tuned. So I quit looking. Uh, we got my little trusty shovel out here. That's about at the depth at which I stopped looking and the diameter. <clears throat> Um, and just to give you an idea, so this is the first first time I planted these sun chokes. Just looking to see if there's any more. There's another little nub. Um, but I wanted to show you what I planted and what I got. So I had ordered a couple of these tubers. I'd ordered a bunch of these, and in most most of these pockets, I had planted two of them. Um, so I planted this, and I'm going to plant it again, and this is what I got from it. So it's not bad for sticking your shovel in and letting it sit, especially in an area that's never been planted out before, that was previously covered in grass and then completely covered in wood chips for over a year. Um, all I did was this pile had gotten low enough. And I was interested in getting these sun chokes, so then I just stuck a shovel in and popped a couple of these in randomly throughout. And there's a couple that didn't 
that little sad one over there didn't do as well. Um, but we'll see. Overall, overall, I think it was definitely worth the money to what more than probably quadruple, centuple, probably seven times what I planted actually grew. And also, they looked amazing. They looked like giant sunflowers, well, the sunflowers, I suppose. Um, yeah, and they looked amazing. And now I can use this, all this material, throw it in my compost bin, and uh, get that all broken down. And I can add it to my soil beds later. So um, that's all I'm going to do for today. I wanted to come out and do um, a mass cleanup of all these before it actually gets like the ground gets frozen. Um, I'll make a longer video about that. And then um, either I'll do that next or the next thing I do, I want to do some gorilla planting in my own backyard. So I'm going to take my, uh, my three pong little rake, ground scraper, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna plant um, different wildflower seeds, a couple of different seed packs I have, different colors, annuals, perennials. Uh, do some more of these clover, and then I think I'll probably take some of these uh, tubers, and I'll plant those randomly throughout so I can get some more coverage. And they're not specifically like here, because of the amount of soil disturbance and all that. Like this area is just. I, I spread a whole bunch of clover seeds, red clover, white clover. Um, it's some seed packets, whatever, but um, this is an area that's just going to be sun chokes. Like, there's no, there'd be no no reason to plant a tree in the middle of this because I'd be start disturbing the roots every year. Um, but the other ones that I plant out, um, hopefully I'll get a couple flowers this coming year. Um, they'll expand, multiply, and then the next year I'll get seven times the amount of flowers, and it'll just really kind of liven up this place. Um, so I'm going to do that. With the sun chokes and then a whole bunch of seed packets and uh, so stay tuned to that that should be should be pretty fun it'll be an exercise and um, seeing how well my memory works i have an idea of where i want to kind of plant these flowers and it'll just be a surprise next year when they come up so uh, thanks again for watching and if you haven't done so yet i would get some sun chokes and get a pot so you can boil them and then cook them like a potato like i'm gonna do all right thanks bye